It all adds up to the, to the great hum of the hive mind. Can you hear it? It's getting louder every day. Well, uh, as, as somebody once said, children now become gray at three. They have acquired so much information about the world by the age of three that they're, in a sense, senile. Hi, my name's Brian Ersch. What I'm the principal investigator for the Rapid Information Overlay Technology, otherwise known as Riot. Is. And today we're going to show a cyber that tracking demonstration us. where we've integrated four social networking websites, Facebook, Twitter, Koala, and Foursquare. And we're going to track one of our own employees. So here you see it's the Riot Object be, Browser, and we're going to type the employee's in name my in, opinion, Nick Kinnees. That's going to return back a list of objects which meet that search criteria. And we're particularly and interested in the second change. object. You see Facebook ID, is Twitter username, Koala username, and we're going to expand the list of methods supported by the this object. The second method, get location, is going to click on that, might be. and that's going to return back a KML file, a list of all the places where Nick has checked in using the smartphone. That he's going to so we're now going to click on that link, and that's going to open the KML file. Of autonomy in the decision systems that surround You can see us. that Nick has spent a lot of his time checking in up in the mid-Atlantic and then also down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area the very and then a few places in between. So we're going to turn override this off, jump back into Brian, when a break and we're going to go and get photos. Is assisted. One of the things we've noticed means is that when people take pictures and post them on the internet using their smartphones, that the phone will actually quickly, embed the latitude and longitude into the EXIF header data pedal of that image. Heavily, so we're going to take advantage ABS of that by bringing down all the pictures where Nick has checked in not the case that and then it placing let me those do on so. Google Earth. That go so let's beyond click on that the link. Given threshold of use Again, it'll bring down a KML file. And we go from and we'll po thousands post them of main Google Earth. To and we'll zoom in here to Washington Nationals Park. To hundreds of millions of PCs. The billions of mobile and that'll bring back a picture of Nick, not to be and so now we know where Nick has gone, are, and we know now what Nick looks like. The so now we know where Nick's going, we know what he looks like, now we want to try to predict where he may be in the future. To be so we're going to go ahead and call this uh, potentially get top places method. Dangerous. It's a very basic analytic, but it's going to return back a pie chart for those that'll of us show us the top ten places that Nick checks to in. Speak as clearly as gym possible is for the top first place group followed of closely by Dallas Fort Worth. So, so we're going to analyze the, the places. So as of yet, I'm proven place equals gym of uh, my username Nick talk names. today. And this is going to go out to Koala and Foursquare and bring back all the check-ins and do some analysis on them. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, View Graphs. And this brings back check-ins by month. You can see here that he's checked in uh, the most in June at the gym. I guess he's getting ready for the uh, beach season, working on a six-pack. Uh, you can also see that uh, the check-ins by day, Monday is the highest day, followed closely by Wednesday. And then here's the most interesting. If you look in check-ins by hour, 6 a.m. appears to be obviously the, uh, the most frequently uh, visited time at the gym. So if you ever did want to try to uh, get a hold of Nick or maybe get a hold of his laptop, you might want to visit the gym at 6 a.m. on Monday. Now one last thing we want to show is the uh, graphical Riot object browser. We can type Nick in here. And this will bring back Nick's object. And you can click on that and that will go out and bring back all the associations for that object. And uh, so uh, this is also another way if you're trying to track somebody uh, in cyberspace. You can see uh, Nick is shouting out in Twitter to different users. Um, you can also see some phone numbers that are linked in with this. So the, uh, the graphical object browser is a good way to kind of visualize uh, the relationships between other objects. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. It's brian.urch at Thanks.